There are a few types of wax that are normally used in leather craft. Hard wax used for edge finishing and a soft wax mix that is used for conditioning leather. I will be focusing on the hard type of wax for this video. In front of me, I have the two types of wax used for leather, which are beeswax and paraffin wax. Each have different properties that make them useful for finishing edges. Beeswax is a natural product and will give you a harder edge and better water resistance, but the wax itself tends to be quite sticky and collect dirt. Paraffin wax is a petroleum based product and makes your edge more slippery and polishes to give a glossy finish. Fortunately, we don't have to choose between both waxes. We can actually melt and combine both waxes together to create a wax with the best of both worlds. There are a few different mixing ratios that are used, some with more beeswax and some with more paraffin. But the most common ratio is a 50-50 mix, which is what I will be making today. I will start by weighing equal amounts of beeswax and paraffin using scales and placing them in a suitable container. Place the container into a water bath and apply heat similar to how you would melt chocolate. This method makes it so the wax is slowly melted and not overheated. The melting points of both waxes are around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, so the water does not need to be boiling. Leave the mix in the hot water bath until the waxes are completely melted. Stir the mix until it is uniform, then remove it from the heat and allow it to cool down and reharden. Now I can remove it from the foil and the wax is ready to use. This type of wax is perfect to use on vegetable tan edges for burnishing or as a finish on edge paint as it will give you very shiny edges without being sticky. However, when it comes to waxing thread for stitching, 100% beeswax is still the best option as it will make the thread sticky and help lock the thread within the stitching holes. This project here has a painted edge that I will test with this new wax. Apply the wax to the edge by rubbing it on and then melt and spread the wax with an electric creaser on low heat. Burnish and buff the edge with canvas cloth until shiny and the edge is now finished. I think this mixture turned out quite well and I'll be using this block of wax for future projects. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.